Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kayla. How have you been doing today? It's been really nice out, so I hope you guys have gotten to go outside and play a little bit. Um, I have an activity that we're going to be able to play inside today, though. This game is called Sink or Float. As you can see, I have a sink full of water here. So we're going to practice seeing if things will sink in the water or float. So I have an apple. A big cup, a little cup, a big spoon, a little spoon, a sponge, and an egg. This is a game that you can play in your bathtub or at the kitchen sink like I am. So what we do is we have to put it in the water. I'm going to start with the apple. And you have to guess, is it going to sink or float? Okay, the first thing I am going to test out is the apple. So, before we start, we have to use those thinking caps in our tentoscopes. And we have to think, is this apple going to sink or float? You can write down your guesses with mom and dad, or you can say them out loud. I think this apple is going to float. Ooh, what's it doing? Look at that. This apple is floating. That's because inside an apple, there is apple juice and it helps it float. Next, we are going to do the big cup. It is made of glass and it's kind of heavy. So what do you think it's going to do? Let's check it out. Wow, that sunk fast, didn't it? Went all the way to the bottom. It filled up with water and it went to the bottom. Now if I put it like this, it floats a little bit. See? Because there's room for it to have air inside, which keeps it up. But if we fill it with water, like it did before, then it sinks. All right, now we're gonna try the little cup. This thing is teeny tiny. Look at that, it fits between my fingers. So, do you think it's going to sink or float? I think just cause it's so tiny that it's going to float, but let's find out. Oh, it's floating. I wonder if it'll float if we fill it with water. What do you think? Let's see. Oh, look at that. It's still floating. It's floating underwater, but it's still floating. That's because this cup is very tiny and doesn't weigh very much. So it can still float in the water. All right, we've got the big spoon. This one is made of plastic. So do you think it's going to sink or float? Let's see. It's not very heavy. Let's see. Oh, it's floating. Now let me push on it. Is it going to sink? Gonna sink? Nope, not really. This one's a floater. All right, now I've got the little spoon. This spoon is made of metal. Do you think it will sink or float? I wonder if it might float. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong. And you know what? That's okay. Because we're being scientists and we're guessing. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. This one was a sinker. That's because this is made of metal. And metal can be kind of heavy. So it cannot float. Alright, this time I've got a sponge. Let's see. Do you think it will sink or float? Oh, what's it doing? Yeah, it is floating. Now, sponges do something called absorbing. We know what absorbing is. Absorbing is when something picks up water. So sponges are very good at absorbing. They pick up a lot of water. Look at that. All that water came out. So if we fill this with water, do you think it will sink? 
We can try it. Let's see. So those bubbles, that's all air that's coming out of the sponge. All right, let's see. Oh, no, it's still floating. But it did absorb all that water. All right, and last but not least, we have our egg. Now, these can be kind of tricky. Do you think this egg is going to sink or float? Let's try it. Ooh, what did it do? It looks like it sank. But it didn't sink super fast like the spoon did. Or like the jar did. It kind of went really slow and bounced a little bit. I wonder why. The reason the eggs sink so slow is because inside an egg, there's a little bit of air and that helps it bounce a little bit. Well, I hope you liked this activity. I love being a scientist and I like doing science activities with you guys. If you guys try this at home, let me know what you, what you practice this on and what you find out sinks and what floats. I have to go, but until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.